back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start and I hope you all are in good health. So today, you guys, I got a home decor haul for you today. I picked up a few items over the last three to four weeks. So I'm gonna share some of these items with you all in this video. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Trina. I share home decor videos with you all. I'd love to have you stay and subscribe and become part of our decorating family here. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. And I just want to first say thank y'all for all y'all love and support on my last video. That video actually reached over 120,000 views. I really appreciate all y'all love and support. I read each and every one of y'all comments and I try to reply back to as many people as I can in the comments. Y'all know if y'all ask me a question, whether you Instagram me or if you write it in the comment section down below, I always try to respond back to you and give you some type of response. But thank you all so, so much for your love on my last video. I really appreciate y'all. Okay, so let's get started with this haul. So I'm going to share with you the first thing that I picked up from Pottery Barn. I only picked up one thing, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I picked up some candle holders and I ordered these candle holders uh, maybe about three or four weeks ago. And I just now ended up getting them maybe about a few days ago. So I ended up picking up these brass candle holders here from Pottery Barn. These are absolutely gorgeous, you guys. So I picked up the larger one and then I also picked up the smaller one. So the larger one, the smaller one was I believe $37 and then the larger one was $47. So they're brass, so they're not gold, but they're brass. They are really, really heavy. So it's definitely a nice substantial piece and I think it'll make a really nice statement piece whether you style it on your coffee table or your kitchen island or whatever. So it's just really nice. I love it because it's different because it's brass and then it also has this different unique shape to the top of it or like the dome area of it, which is really nice and modern. I have these uh, candle holders linked down in the description box below because I do believe they have them, they have them in stock now because I think when I first purchased them, they were on back order. So yeah, yeah, they were on back order. So it took them at least about three weeks before they actually came in. This is the larger one and I think this is about maybe 15 inches tall, so it's pretty large. So this is the larger one, and then this is the smaller one on there. I like it because they almost have like a vintage, a vintage and modern flair to it. So it's really nice, really heavy, and it's unique. So only thing is, I have to find some. You need some larger uh, pillar candles to kind of go in here because I believe these are like a three by nine, which is still kind of too small for this candle holder. So you need like a larger pillar candle to go in here, which I think it'll look really stunning when you add that to it. But yeah, it's really pretty. So, and I think they are super cute to add to your coffee table or your island or anything like that. So very nice piece. And like I said, I'll have these linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. Next place I went to was Target and I only ended up picking up one, well, two things from Target and keeping with the candle holder thing. So I'm gonna show you some candle holders that I picked up from Target. Marble candle holders here from the Threshold, Threshold brand. They're really nice. The base is really heavy, you guys, really heavy. And then it had, comes with a glass hurricane at the top. And then you can actually use the base by itself and put a pillar candle on there, or you can kind of use it with the glass. So I'll probably end up using lines with the glass. It looks really nice and luxury. And also West Elm and yeah, I believe West Elm and CB2 has similar candle holders like this with the marble base and the glass top but uh, obviously target is a lot more affordable so i would definitely recommend checking out target these candle holders definitely look high end so they came in two sizes this is the larger one here it also came in this pretty smaller one here which is gorgeous you guys so i ended up picking up both and i believe the smaller one was yeah the smaller one was 15 dollars and then the larger one, I believe, was the larger one was $20, and then the smaller one was $15. So really nice, really affordable. These look really cute. Like I said, on your credenza, coffee table, wherever you want to put it, but it looks really nice. So this is definitely an item I would recommend picking up because it definitely looks high-end. And the marble base is super heavy, you guys. So really good quality. I think Target did a really good job with this. And like I said, it's the threshold brand. So I'll definitely have these linked down in the description box below. Also picked up a new planner from Target. This is from the, what is this one? 
This is from the Cupcakes and Cashmere brand. It's just a 2021 calendar. And I just like it because it has this nice floral print on the front, which I thought was really cute. Also from Target, I picked up some room fresheners, but I picked this up on another occasion, not on the same day that I picked up those candle holders and that planner, but I picked these up a few weeks ago. I picked up a room freshener called Calsana, and the name of this one is called Tranquil Tranquility can't even speak today. And it's with lavender and chamomile to ease into sleep. This one smells really, really good. I spray this in my room a little bit before I go to bed. And then also spray it on my bedding before when I'm clean, done cleaning my room. It smells so good, you guys. Definitely has a lavender and chamomile smells. Just a nice, um, subtle fragrance, I think, that makes a really good bedroom room freshener. So I picked this one up. It looks really high end. So that's why I like the bottle. It looks really cute. And they had some reed diffusers in there as well, but I think they only had it in this scent, which is a tranquility one. They had several other ones called Serenity and things like that, but they were out of stock. So I ended up picking up this one. So I definitely would pick up another one of these. And I forget how much it was. I think it was, I think it was $10. So it was kind of pricey because some at home goods, I know you can get room fresheners that are really nice and high end for under $10. So this one was kind of pricey. And then I also picked up this one called Amber. It's called Amber Bergamot and Patchouli. And this is a room freshener. I've seen other YouTubers kind of haul this one as well. But this one I didn't really care for. It just kind of, it smells like a, I don't know, it just kind of smells like a, a cheap cologne or something like that. It doesn't really smell too good to me because I don't really like this one. But yeah, so, but those are the two that I picked up. And I think this one was like $7.99. So I still like the ones from Home Goods best because I think the Home Goods one, um, they just smell a little bit more high end. I did pick up a few items from Home Goods because I'm getting ready to think about what I want to do for spring. So I'm just picking up pieces that I want to use to decorate my family room. That'll probably be my first space that I style for spring and everything, especially once my um, kitchen and all that is done. So I'm going to do that room first. So the first item I picked up from Home Goods was this vase here. And this was $19.99. I don't know if you can see it on there. But I just love this boot. I picked this vase up because it was oddly shaped. It was different. And it looked really unique. But now that I picked it up, I don't know if it's going to stay. I might end up returning it. But I found some other ones that were way better than this one that um, I'm definitely going to keep. So I might, end up, I might end up returning these because, um, I don't know yet. I'm on the fence. I might return on my key because it has this pretty, this is what I want to use to decorate for spring. So I wanted to add some more blues to my my home decor, especially for the spring. I like it because it has the gold rim at the top, which is cute. And then I like the shape of it. And then it just has like these nice leaf print at the bottom of it. So I thought that was so nice and so cute. So I picked up the larger one and then I also picked up the smaller one here. And you can see the difference in size. So the smaller one was like $12.99 and then the larger one was $19.99. I'm going to be decorating with for spring. So y'all will see me haul several other like blue accessory pieces for, and I'm planning on putting this in my family room. So I picked up two more vases from Home Goods. So I picked up this large, beautiful vase here. I absolutely love this vase. It almost reminds me of a tulip. So I love it because it has this print on it. It's not like a chevron print, but almost like a, what is, you can, it's almost like a chevron print, but it's shaped like a tulip. So I really love that about it. And then I love it has the gold detail at the bottom of it. It's so super cute. It's large, it has a wide mouth. I thought this would be really nice to put some roses in, some peonies in during the springtime. So I think that this blue would be really nice accent color with my decor or whatever. So I love this. And I think this one was, um, this one was $19.99. And then I picked up two of these. So I always try to get stuff in sets because I just like to spread out my decor throughout the house so everything kind of flows together. So I picked up two. So that's why I said I might end up returning those other ones because I think these look a whole lot better. I also picked up from Home Goods a new bowl. So I love this. I love white dishes. So y'all see when I do my kitchen organization video, I love white dishes. I think it just make your food pop and it just looks really nice and clean and elegant. So I always pick up unique shaped white dishes and plates and bowls if I can find them. So I found this one at Home Goods. It was so cute, you guys. I love the shape of it. It's really nice. And then it has a really nice detail on it at the bottom which is really pretty and then it says it was made in portugal so and it was 19.99 well it's actually no it's 9.99 
So I thought this would look really cute to hold some nice, beautiful fruits, especially with the pretty uh, greens and reds and all of that. I think that'll look really nice. So I'm planning on putting this in my kitchen and setting it on my island to hold um, some veggies and fruits. But it looks really, really I cute. picked up this little cake stand. I always pick these little stands up. This one is, uh, it says made in Portugal. It was only $7.99. I don't know if y'all can see that sticker at the bottom, but these little things are so cute because they're really nice to style on your, in your kitchen or pretty much anywhere because you can use it to hold a candle. You can use it to hold little uh, desserts or anything like that. So that's why I always end up picking them up. You can use it in several different ways. So it's very versatile. So, and you can also use it as a riser. So it's really nice. And like I said, it was $7.99 and it was super cute. So I ended up picking up that. And I always try to, most of my kitchen accessories you guys will see is um, in the color white. So I try to keep everything like neutral. So that's what it is. I love my, my home and my space is definitely um, a lot of neutral decor. So I love my neutral. So everything is kind of white. But I am, like I said, I am planning on adding a little pop of color during the spring. So that's one way to, when you're styling your home, I always like to get um, neutral furniture, artwork, all that stuff like that. So that way, when you want to add a pop of color, it's easy. All you do is change out a few accessories and that's it. You don't have to redo your home, your whole home just to add a pop of color. So it's easy to decorate with neutrals and then you can, you know, sprinkle in your pops of color here and there. So that's what I like to do in my home. So I got one more thing from also home. Also picked up this beautiful piece of art here. It's actually dust on the side of that. So it's actually pretty dusty, which I need to dust it off because I just picked it up from the store. But I love this. So this is gonna go in my family room. It's by the company um, Park Lane, the Park Lane Gallery, which is like a art gallery out in New York. So they uh sell reprints of some of their original arts by the artists and then this one has usually it has a tag on it it says 100 percent hand painted and then this is the artist it has on the back of it which i thought was really nice and when you find them looking for art you want to look for stuff that's kind of like reprints of the original artwork this one was 99 dollars, so it really is cute so i thought it looked really nice in my family room so that's why i'm planning on adding this piece too then also from Home Goods, I picked up this Purity Throw Pillow. I thought this was so cute when I saw it in the store, you guys. So it's just a throw pillow. I love it because it has, it's blue and it's a little bit darker blue than what I'm going for. So like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I might end up finding a home for it somewhere throughout my house this spring. But I love it because it has this cream detail on the front and it has this beading on there, which is really nice. And I thought it'd be nice to add some texture to my um, space. So like I said, and it's just a solid navy print on the back. So like I said, when I bought this, um, it's a little bit darker blue than I want. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but I might end up finding a spot for it somewhere throughout my home. And then the company is called Artistic Accents. So Artistic Accents, and this was $24.99. And it does, it's not downfill, so I'll probably end up changing the insert. It's the same brand that actually makes, uh, that made this pillow here that I shared with y'all in my last video. Very nice, very good quality. So I think from Homegoods I picked up was this bamboo long handle brush. I love using this to clean out my kitchen sink or to scrub my stove top or anything like that. It's made of the, it's, the handle is bamboo and it has a little nice thick bristles. So they work really well. And they even got some where you can put your cleaner inside of the brush too. So I love getting these brushes. So when I see it at Home Goods and all that, I always end up picking it up. So it was like three. Also, I picked up some stainless steel straws. You know, and these were like some same little steel straws. This one has a pack of eight, and then it also has the little brush to clean the straws out. So those are always useful. And it was only like $5.99 at Home Goods. So I wanna share with you all a couple of gifts that were sent to me. So I went to go check my PO box and I have received these beautiful roses from Rose Forever. So this is their largest size and this one comes with 36 roses. They're preserved roses. They are said to last a year. They are just gorgeous. This is like my third collaboration with them. So they are definitely really good quality. So I decided this time to get the larger size and I got it with this pretty baby pink um, velvet hat box that it comes in, which is gorgeous. And then I decided to get a pop of color. So I got this beautiful, like light baby blue 
roses, which are gorgeous, and I think it's gonna look really nice in my home for the springtime. So if you wanna use my cool cup, if you guys are interested, I'll have the link listed down in the description box below. Don't forget to use my coupon code Trina20 to save $20 off your so I went to H&M over the weekend and I picked up a, um, a lot of their nice joggers. So I love joggers because they just are really nice and comfortable. And right now I'm into like loungewear because I ain't going nowhere. I'm just sitting in the house. So I want something comfortable to relax in when I'm at home. So I picked up two of their jogger sets. So I picked up this one in this nice baby cream color. And I believe the shirt was like, the sweatshirt was like $17.99. And then the bottoms were $17.99. So I thought that was a really nice deal and it's really thick nice quality and then you can either dress these up i usually just wear mine with some sneakers or something like that because like i said i like to be comfortable but you can also wear them with some boots or heels or anything like that if you choose to but i thought these was like really nice and cute so i got this set and then i also picked up another set too that i'll share with you i'm not gonna try that one on but i'll share with you um what it looks like i also picked up another set well another pair of joggers in black so these were, this is just the same pair, but it's in this black color, which is there. Like I said, y'all, they're super co super comfortable. Like I said, they were $17.99 for the bottoms. And then the tops, I believe, was $17.99. And then I usually, I picked up a medium. And then it's still kind of baggy on me because I was trying to find a small. But um, they were all out of the small. But, yeah, but I don't know if they were, they're going to shrink or anything like that. Sometimes clothes, you know, from these stores, they end up shrinking. So I end up, I don't mind that it's being a little bit baggy. But yeah, so I ended up picking up these black ones. Then also I picked up another sweatshirt, but then I just got this one in this pretty uh, blush pink, which is really cute. I love my pink neutrals, just, I just love it. So nice. And I think this was, um, actually this was $12.99. So this one's $12.99. It's just like a basic uh, sweatshirt. Just, just a basic sweatshirt just says smile on there really cute but i love the blush pink so i'm just gonna just some lounge wear to wear around the house so that was super cute and then also i picked up just i needed some new plain white t-shirts or plain white shirts period so i got this just a plain white shirt from h&m and then this was like 12.99 then i also picked up not from h&m but i also picked up some new perfume, some new perfume. So I picked up some Chanel perfume and you guys, this smells amazing. This is um, the Chanel brand Chance, the Chanel uh, perfume spray and it's uh, called Chance. It smells so good, you guys. And this is kind of like a pomegranate and let me just see what it has, what notes they have in it. Uh, but it smells so good. See, then this is the bottle here, I love Nice little luxury perfume. Smells so good, you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, it smells so good. And almost has like a grapefruit and pomegranate smell. Really nice and subtle. It's not overpowering, but just a real nice, sophisticated perfume. It smells good. So I picked this up, so. And then that is it, you guys. So I love buying luxury perfumes. So my favorite right now is the Gucci Bamboo. And then I also love the Versace uh, Euros. Those are my like my two hands down favorite colognes. I get so, I mean, I get so many compliments on those perfumes. It just smells, it just smells amazing. So I'll definitely recommend you try those two. Those are awesome as well. So yeah, so that was it, you guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And I thank you all so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.